Hello, this is going to be an updated review of the Polaroid ID922 action camera. I initially reviewed this camera around a week ago. However, after seeing some recent footage on my computer, which I recorded with this camera outside when it was previously snowing, not snowing anymore, snowing for just a little bit, I decided to go outside and record some videos and I was so happy with the video quality that I decided to re-record a review, uh, just to create an updated review, sharing some updated thoughts I have about this particular action camera. This is the Polaroid ID922 action camera, which lists some specifications here uh, on, on the box, uh, some, some features and specifications. Supposedly waterproof, even though I'm not going to test out that particular feature, not going to comment on whether the camera is waterproof, just don't feel comfortable submerging this camera without any additional underwater housing. However, uh, despite that, there are a lot of things that are really interesting about this camera. One of which is, so it does have this, um, this um, rubbery case, which makes it easier to hold the camera and to place the camera on a surface. This camera is ha actually has a dustproof design, which means that it is even more portable <clears throat> than a lot of action cameras, because even if the camera falls down like this, or you put it in your pocket, you can always wipe the dust off the lens here because like this because uh, there is a covering over the lens so that really kind of elevates this camera above a lot of other action cameras it's the fact that this camera will simply not get dirty or smudged um like the lens will on some other action cameras which i think is it's, it's really only on occasion you see this kind of dust proof design and i wish i saw it more often you also have this second screen which we can access with just a few buttons the video quality i previously said in my initial review is <clears throat> definitely acceptable, but for this price, it's even though it's still not my favorite um, action camera, not my favorite video quality for the price that we paid, even though the price was still not very high at $50, which is what I paid, I think really the dustproof design and the fact that it is intended to be a durable camera to withstand some water, really this elevates it. So when I went outside, I was not afraid, not concerned about the fact that it was snowing. I just recorded some videos. I took off the uh, the case over here, recorded some videos in the snow, and of course some snowflakes landed on the camera, but not a problem because if this camera, my reasoning was that if this camera is supposedly uh, supposed to be waterproof and designed that way, a few a few drops of water, a few snowflakes will not damage the camera, and I believe that that is correct. So you're going to just be able to see some footage that I recorded uh, while it was snowing in the next part of this video, and when I saw that footage... I realized that the video quality is <clears throat> not only acceptable, but it's quite good as long as you keep the camera still. Or if you're going to move the camera around, don't move it very quickly. Just kind of move the camera very slow, slowly while you're recording. Because if there's a lot of motion with the camera that when you're holding, if there's a lot of motion, unfortunately, there will be some blur, which is why I said that this is not my necessarily my favorite camera. To achieve optimal results, you really have to move the camera very slowly or to keep it perfectly still so that the audience can focus on what's being recorded and so that the quality will maintain its sharpness, its detail, and also maybe not necessarily filming, as with a lot of action cameras, not filming at night or when there's low lighting because some of these cheap cameras, uh, the video quality tends to be worse when there is low lighting or when you're, you're filming when it's completely dark. The less light, the, the the worse the results are so i recommend it, if it's sunny like it is right now um or if, if it's cloudy if it's if it's during the daytime that'll help you achieve the best results and um, it'll definitely capture colors well like the sky if it's if it's nice and sunny if there's some clouds there really will capture the sky very well the colors but again so this is my updated view to say that even though the camera is not does not necessarily have the best video quality in my opinion compared to some other cameras which I've already purchased. I have around 18 action cameras. I do think that the fact that I could go outside when it was snowing and record and not worry about the camera um, getting damaged from some water water drops, droplets, uh, some snowflakes, that really was very valuable to me. It really makes the camera more portable. You can just put it in your pocket without the case and it's very small. It does have a second screen and um, the lens won't get dirty because there's a cover over it so you can just wipe off any dust. Very, very convenient. One thing, one downside I will say that really prevents this camera from being 
excellent instead of just very good is that the microphone, which you can see right here, the microphone which picks up audio, it really seems to pick up a lot of audio. So I, I will maintain that same point in this updated review as in my initial review is that for commentary, so if you're filming and you wanna talk in the video, or even if there's some, if there's some noise, Unfortunately, the camera is just, I mean, the microphone is just super sensitive and will pick up a lot of noise. So <clears throat> it'll make it sound like not only that it's noisier than it actually is, but that some of the audio might be a little bit distorted because the microphone is just super sensitive. So if you're talking in the video and you have the camera near you when you're recording it, it, it just, it won't be really a reflection of reality because it just picks up so much noise and kind of dials it up to 10. It just really captures a little bit too much noise so this microphone is very sensitive it picks up a lot of noise which is good but a little bit too much sensitivity on the microphone so my, my updated review is just to say that i do think the video quality is actually quite good as long as you keep the camera still or you move it very slowly when recording because there is no image stabilization here and really the added bonus which i didn't emphasize enough last time is how this camera can really withstand um, some snowflakes, I mean, it doesn't, hasn't really snowed much, uh, this year where I live, but to be able to go outside or to put this in your pocket and not have to worry about the camera getting damaged or dusty or the lens getting too smudged and dirty is, is very, very, is very, very cool. But I probably won't be using this camera a lot just because of the fact that the microphone just picks up a lot of audio. Um, nevertheless, the fact that there's a second screen, the dustproof design, and the fact that the video quality can be good if you keep the camera still makes this overall a very interesting product and certainly not a bad <clears throat> product. I just, um, having a lot of cameras around this price range, I can see what some cameras are capable of recording in terms of video quality. But this camera has something a lot of cameras don't, which is this dustproof design and the ability to withstand um, a little bit of water if it's a little drizzling or snowing outside. This has been my updated review of the Polaroid ID 922 some video footage uh, that i recorded while it was snowing a little bit will follow and i personally was quite pleased with the video quality and you can see that for yourself the photos are definitely okay and they're definitely very good for the price that we paid but this video will, this review is mostly focusing on the video quality because that's really what i will mostly use these action cameras for however the photos taken with this camera as i said in my review or the photo test are actually quite good for the price that we paid Thanks for watching this video, updated review of the Polaroid ID922 action camera, which takes pictures and records videos and has a second screen on the front. ADP video test with the Polaroid ID922.
1080p video test with the Polaroid IG922. Hello, this is another 1080p video test with the Polaroid ID922 action camera. Video test. Video test 1080p resolution with the Polaroid ID922 action camera. Ten eighty P video test <coughs> with the Polaroid Wave. Sorry, the Polaroid ID nine two two action camera. Supposedly an underwater camera. I'm not going to <coughs> not going to submerge this camera underwater, but I am comfortable filming while it's just snowing a little bit. This is the Polaroid ID nine two two action camera. This is a 1080p resolution and video test. 